this is into the fire. I'm really excited to welcome to Into the Fire, the talented sports person, Australia's next Shane Warne, young leg spinner, Will Parker. Nice to meet you, Will. Nice to meet you too. Seeing this is a cricket interview, I just want to pass on my best wishes to Dean Jones' family and friends for his sad passing. He was a legend of, of cricket and he'll be sadly missed. Okay, Will, you really had the AFL in a spin when you chose cricket over AFL. Sorry, little pun there. It must have been a massive decision, which I'm sure weighed on your mind a lot. How did you come to that decision and why? Um, yeah, so obviously I went into 2020 hoping to play some footy and obviously um, possibly get drafted. But um, obviously with coronavirus, we weren't able to play footy and um, it just didn't really give me a chance to showcase my skills, I thought, and I just felt like I was more comfortable choosing cricket over footy just because the offer was made to me for cricket and then I didn't really know where I stood in the footy the footy um, side of things. So I thought it was just a, probably the best decision for me at that point in time and then obviously chose cricket and then it just probably, yeah, took a bit bit of a load off not having that choice anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. You weren't always a leggy. You bowled medium pace. Did you change because of your back injury or is it because medium pace bowling is boring? No, it was definitely because of my back injury. I was a medium pacer, but then obviously um, uh, I got some stress fractures when I was about 15 and then I had probably about um, six months off bowling and then just started bowling some leg spin in the nets and then they came out all right. So I just stuck with it and um, yeah, I guess they worked out pretty well for me. Yeah, you're pretty good at them. You took four wickets in your first Sheffield Shield match for Victoria. That must have been an amazing feeling. Did it give you that reassurance that you were up to that level? Yeah, it was um, definitely a surprise. Um, didn't expect to do that well um, on debut especially. But yeah, um, it definitely gave me um, a good feeling that I'm good enough to play at Shield level and um, I'm possibly... A chance to go far in cricket and um, be a good state player, hopefully. Yeah, I'm sure you will. One of my favourite cricketers, Rashid Khan, still the only player to celebrate with the Into the Fire, but we'll get to that later. Rashid Khan is as, as good as it gets. Do you watch guys like that and try to replicate some of their de deliveries? Um, obviously, Rashid Khan's a very different type of leg spinner. He bowls. 90 kilometers per hour and um, spins it both ways. But obviously, I think I'm definitely a different type of bowler to what he is. I'm nowhere near as what fast as what he does. So I probably rely on some more spin and um, flight in the ball rather than pace. But um, yeah, obviously, he's a very talented bowler and world class in the T20 um, game. But um, yeah, obviously, you look up to him and see, wow, well, if he's doing what he can across the world. Um, obviously, yeah, you look up to him. But um, obviously, um, I don't um, don't mould my game off of him. I'm probably my own bowler and do it my own way. But, yeah, still special yeah. watching. Yeah, he's a good player. You were the fourth youngest ever to debut for Victoria. What was it like when they came to you and said they were going to play, play you? Yeah, it was um, a bit of a shock, actually. Um, it happened really fast. Um, but, yeah, it happened um, in the new year. Um, I was just at a school event and I got the call and saying, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to pick you to go up to Sydney and play or go to the Shield game. And, yeah, it all happened really fast and didn't have much time to take it in. And then when I got up there in Sydney, I didn't even know if I was going to play um, the night before, so I didn't get much sleep. But um, when I rocked up the morning of the game, Pete Anskin, the captain, told me I was in. And, yeah, it all just kicked off from there. Yeah, that's, that sounds like a pretty exciting thing. Yeah, it okay. was very exciting. Yeah. Okay, sadly for football fans, you were going to be a gun in that sport as well. You absolutely starred in the NAB League in 2019. You averaged 18 disposals, disposals a game. Is there a part of you that knows you'll miss the AFL? 
Um, yeah, definitely. There's um, always going to be that sense of what could have been. But, um, yeah, I love footy and I also love cricket. It was a very hard decision um, in the end. But, um, yeah, obviously it could have gone both ways, but I had to pick one in the end. But, yeah, I'll definitely miss footy, 100%. Yeah. Don't worry. When you play in the Ashes series one day, don't think you'll be too worried about footy. <laughs> You had 27 disposals against Oakley Chargers last year in the grand final. This was against Matt Rowe, Noah Anderson, Will Phillips, Trent Bianco, Finlay McRae, Jamara. Wow, that's a heck of an effort, buddy, against the All-Star team. No wonder the AFL are upset. You will be telling your kids about that one. Oh, I don't know if I'll tell my kids, but yeah, um, obviously it didn't matter in the end. We got smashed, but obviously um, I was able to find the ball a bit. but um. Obviously, like you said, those those players were just too good for us on the day and us overpowered us. But obviously, yeah, I tried my best to get us in the game, but obviously it wasn't enough. Yeah, but you still played really well. Yeah, I thought I had a pretty good game and it probably helped me out um, in terms of selectors, to be honest. Um, that was probably one of the games where I really showcased my skills and I was pretty happy with it, but obviously it didn't really matter. I wanted the main, get, the main goal was the flag and we didn't get it, but that's all right. Yeah. Lastly on footy, mate, you were predicted to be selected in the top 20 this year's, of this year's draft and your uncle Jeff is rec the recruiting manager of Port. What did he say to you while you were making your decision? Um, yeah, I, had a, I did ring him up and had a bit of a chat to him, but he didn't lean me towards any way, but he just said, just do what... Make sure, do what you want to do. Basically, do what you love. And obviously, I loved both of them. But in that, when he said that, it just felt as if cricket was the right decision for me. So yeah, he didn't um lean me towards footy just because he's um a footy recruiter. He's also he's also played lots of cricket and understands that cricket's a great sport as well. And um yeah, in the end, it was my decision. And obviously, the support of others helped me get to that. Yeah. Now, my dad always bangs on about leg spinners. He says that every single team should have one. Bet you wish he was a selector. What is your yeah. favourite ball to bowl? Um, my favourite ball to bowl would just be a stock leg break. Obviously, all the wrong ends and the flippers are all fancy, but you can't beat just the stock leg break that beats the outside edge of a right hand or something like that. But um, obviously, they're very underrated bowls obviously everyone gets caught up with bowling the wrong and the flipper and getting someone out but it's very hard to bowl them and um especially get a wicket with them but if you can master your stock ball it's going to hold you in a lot better stead than if you can master a wrong i reckon yeah shane Warne is the ultimate leg spinner have you had a chance to meet him or do any work with him i don't want you to tell me his phone number if you, if you have it but feel free to write it down <laughs> No, I don't actually have his number and I've never had a chance to work with him. I, I do wish to work with him one day and pick his brains a bit, but yeah, haven't had that opportunity yet. Yeah. Are you heading over to Adelaide very soon as part of the cricket bubble? You'll have to let me know what the new hotel is like because it looks sweet. Yeah, I'm sure it will be very good, but unfortunately I'm not heading over just because... I've got um, year 12 studies here in Melbourne that I need to finish before I can focus on heading into a bubble. But um, yeah, obviously I'd love to go, but obviously there's more important things in life and I reckon education's um, ahead of cricket at this stage. But yeah, hopefully um, in the back end of the Shield season, I can play a few games and head over there. Ah, oh, that's spewing. Yeah, I know. Now, yeah. now I'll admit, when I first looked at you, your first two game stats for Victoria, I was a bit concerned. You see, the first stat that appeared is the batting. Don't worry, I know you only batted once. For four <laughs> runs, got a peach of delivery, didn't you? Yeah, Frankie Worrell, Bob, this nice out swinger that I um, nicked, but yeah, it was a very good ball and I was happy to walk off after that delivery. <laughs> yeah. You're such a young guy with such potential. Is it hard not to get impatient? Leggies take a while to master their craft. 
Ultimately, playing for the Aussies is obviously the goal. Does the lure of the baggy green push you? Um, yeah, obviously it's my probably my main goal and the goal I wish to achieve in life. But um, yeah, obviously you have to stay patient. I'm only 18 years old and a lot of um, players don't get a chance until they're later in the year. So it could be like 10 years from now. And um, I'm realistic. I know that it's not going to happen straight away just because it happened fast for my Shield debut doesn't mean that it's automatically going to happen for the top level. So I just need to stay patient, keep working. Um, yeah, don't stop. Keep working hard and make sure I give myself the best opportunity to play at the highest level. Yeah, you'll get there. Okay, Will, let's have some fun questions to finish. If you had to cook a meal tonight, what would be your go-to meal? Uh, probably chicken parmigiana. Yeah, that is pretty good. Where in the world would you go if you could choose a holiday destination? Um, I've always wanted to go to New York, to be honest, but obviously it's a, probably not the greatest time to go now with what they're dealing with. But yeah, obviously I'd love to go to New York City and see what that's like. Yeah, definitely. If you could choose to be any sports star for a year, who would it be and why? Ooh, that's a tough question. But I'd probably be Steve Smith just because he's living the life and the best batsman in the world and it's pretty hard to pass up that opportunity. <laughs> if you could bowl any batter in the world out, who would you choose? Good question. Oh, I'll just probably stay, I'll just, um, say Steve Smith again just because it'd be a pretty good um, scalp to get the best batsman in the world out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. There's definitely a lot of scalps that you take. It's pretty hard, it's pretty hard choice. That. Yeah. Your house is about to fall down. Besides family and pets, what do you grab before leaving? Ooh. Probably my baggy blue. Oh, yeah. That'd be <laughs> Well, Will, it's so exciting, and I truly believe right now that I am interviewing a future Australian player. But we have to get there first, and I'm here to make sure that happens. You see, making the Australian team as a leggy is about creating a cult figure. You will be good enough as a bowler, I have no doubt. But can we bring the Aussie public on that journey? So let me tell you how to do it. Come in and bowl the flipper. They'll play, they'll play for spin. And ball will skid and take off the off stump. Everyone goes wild. Stand in the middle of the pitch and give it the into the fire. The celebration that takes you from a great bowler to the country's cult hero. <laughs> Do you want to give yeah, it a try? That'd be something different. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I can't thank you enough, Will, for going into the fire with me today. You're an amazing cricketer, a super nice guy, and exactly what an Australian cricket, cricket will need moving forward. Good luck, buddy pursuit of the bag green and don't watch the AFL draft. <laughs> Thanks mate. Really appreciate your time today. Yeah, thank you.